you know, free speech is meaningless unless you allow people uh, you don't like to say things you don't like. Otherwise, it's irrelevant. Um, and if at the point at which you lose uh, free speech, uh, it doesn't come back. I, th I think the issue some people have is that queuing on conspiracies and you take hate speech, misinformation, and hate speech. Well, you know, who's to say that something, something is misinformation? Um, who's the arbiter of that? He got you there, Mike! Is it the BBC? And are you literally, literally asking me? Yes. Well, I'm the only one here. Who, who is to say that uh, one person's misinformation is another person's information? So the point I'm trying to make is that the BBC itself has, at times, published things that are false. Do you agree that that has occurred? I, 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 I'm quite sure the BBC have uh, said things before that turn out to not be true. Right. It, it is whatever it is, 100 year history, I'm quite sure. Yes. Do you accept that there's more misinformation on the platform if it's not being policed in the same way? Um, particularly around hate speech um, in the company. Do, do, is that well, something that you want to address? What hate speech are you address? talking about? I mean, you use Twitter. Right. Do you see a rise in hate speech? I mean, I, I, just a personal anecdote. Like, what do, do you? I don't. P personally, my uh, for you, I would see I get I get more of that kind of content. Yeah, personally. But I, I'm not going to talk to talk to the rest of for, for the rest of Twitter. So you see personally. more hate speech personally. I would say I would see more hateful content in that. In that content moment. you don't like or or hateful. What do you mean to describe a hateful thing? Tommy, no, you got it all wrong. Oh, oh, Anthony, he's a big boy. He knows what he said. What'd you say? To describe a hateful thing. What? Just like hate speech, queuing on conspiracy. You mean? So let me understand this, because I, you know, maybe it's me. I'm a little fucked up, maybe. But I mean, you use Twitter. Do you see a rise in hate speech? Not just misinformation. And you take. Yeah, I, I mean, you know. No, no, I don't know. You said it. Tell me. Content that will solicit a, a reaction, something that may include something that is slightly racist or slightly sexist. Those kinds of those kinds of things. So you think if I'm, something is slightly sexist, it should be banned? I, no, is that I'm what you're saying? I'm not saying anything. Is saying so. I'm asking for specific examples. My feed, whether it's got less or more, it, I'd say it's got slightly more. That's but, why I'm asking for examples. Can, right. you, can you name one example? I, I honestly don't use. I, I, honestly, you I don't. You can't name I, a single example. I'll tell you why. Because I don't actually use that for you feed anymore. Because I, I just don't particularly like it. But you and said actually, a lot of people. A lot of people are quite similar. I, I, I only. Well, well, I only look well at hang my, on a second. You said you've seen more hateful content, but you can't name a single example. Not even one. Not one. I'm not sure I've used that feed for the last three or four weeks. And I. Well, I, then I how did you, you see that hateful content? content? Because I've been I've been using I've been using Twitter since you've taken it over for the last six months. Okay, so then you must have at some point seen the you for you hateful content. I'm asking for one example. Right. And you I, can't I, give a single I, one. And, I, and I'm saying I, I, then I, I say so that you don't know what you're talking about. Really? Yes, because you can't give a single example of hateful con content. Not even one tweet. Like not even a single letter. And yet you claimed that the hateful content was high. Well, that's a false. No, what I claimed, you just lied. What no? Fine. no what I claim was. Uh, there are many uh, organizations that say that that kind of information is on the rise. Now, whether whether it has on my feed or example. not, I mean, I, right, and Literally if you look at someone one. like the, the uh, Strategic Dialogue uh, Institute in the, U in the UK, they will say that. So you, they, Look, it's, people will say all sorts of nonsense. I'm literally asking for a right. single example, and you can't name one. Right, and as, as I've already said, I don't use that feed. But let's, well, then how let, would you know? Let, that I don't you, think this is getting anywhere. You literally said you experienced more hateful content and then couldn't name a single example. Right, and as I said, I that's absurd. I haven't, I haven't actually looked at that feed. I then would how would you know this hateful content? Because I'm saying that's what I saw a few weeks ago. I can't give you an exact example. Let's move on. We have, we only have a certain amount of time. Um, wow. Co COVID misinformation. You Amazing. The COVID, you've changed the COVID misinformation. Has rules. BBC changed its COVID misinformation? The BBC does not set the rules on Twitter, so I'm asking you. No, I'm talking about the BBC's misinformation about COVID. Why do that? Well, COVID is no longer an issue. It doesn't exist. It's fake. Does the BBC hold itself at all responsible for misinformation regarding masking and side effects of vaccinations and not reporting on that at all? And what about the fact that the BBC was put under pressure by the British government? 
to change its editorial policy. Are you aware of that? This is, a, this is not an interview about the BBC. Oh, so. you thought it wasn't? <laughs> All right, let's, 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 talk about, let's talk about something else. You weren't expecting that. <laughs> <laughs> because we have a kind of a situation at the moment where the New York Times doesn't have a verified badge, whereas well, anyone else who can pay the, whatever, a few, few bucks a, a month. Yeah. I, I must confess to some delight in removing the verified badge from the New York Times. That was that was great, <laughs> um, but uh, so what, what we're not going to do is say that there's some anointed class uh, of journalists who are the special ones who get to tell everyone what they're what they, what they should think. That it, it should be up to the people what they think. Uh, see what people are saying or what questions they have. Um. <laughs> 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 do you like the BBC? Do you like BBC? Okay, yeah, we're not going to. <laughs> oh, we're I can't interview you. I work for the BBC. So well, but you like? Do you like BBC? I know. I see what you're doing. I'm not going to respond to that. Okay. <laughs> I think we can finish the interview there. If you want to, if you want to continue, thank you very much. Well, you know, well come on. Yeah, I really appreciate so it. You sure you like the BBC? Come on. Um, I'm not engaging. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Elon. It honestly, has been a pleasure. Okay. <laughs> I'd just like just to say, I like BBC. <laughs> I do find it funny. Um.